Hello again everybody and welcome to the fifth and final video in our measurement series. Today we're going to look at spheres, so the surface area and volume of a sphere. So first of all, what is a sphere? A sphere is a 3D version of a circle. It's easiest to think of a sphere as a ball. So I'll give you, a, or I'll try to give you a picture of a sphere. I mean, again, I have a two-dimensional space. We try to, you know, draw things on an angle so you can see the depth. So it doesn't always look great, but here we go. My example. So draw my circle, and then we try to have some depth to it. So they kind of almost put a belt on it, and they usually have a dotted line. That's just trying to show you how there's a circle, kind of horizontal circle as well. Give it some depth there. And then there's my radius. So there's my radius. Um, that's how we draw a sphere in uh, 2D, trying to make it look 3D. So the formulas we're going to look at today. Uh, for surface area, we got a nice tidy one there. Volume, nice tidy one there. Again, um, a sphere only ever looks one way. Therefore, we can have a nice, com or not maybe compact, but a nice straight ahead formula. Um, again, pyramids, right? Pyramids, we didn't. Uh, if we ever looked at things like prisms. Prisms don't as well. Uh, I'll see if I have time to make a prism video at some point here. Anyway, notice that you need the radius in both these, and that's all you need. So if they give you the diameter divided by 2, then you have your radius and you're good to go. So uh, these circles, or sorry, these spheres are pretty easy to work with. Let's look at our first example. Uh, determine the surface area and volume of each sphere. Uh, round all answers to the nearest hundredths. Okay, so last video we didn't really talk about rounding. I made sure in this video we talked about rounding. So let's look at our surface area first. Okay, surface area. So the surface area for a sphere is 4 pi r squared. Um, we know all those measurements, right? 4 times 3.14. By all means, use the button on your calculator. You don't have to use uh, 3.14. Uh, the radius is 7 squared. Once I've got it plugged in, you mean you got to follow uh, bed mass, so we got to always work with our exponent first. 3.14 times 49. And then when I multiply this to this, sorry, I can't talk there. When I multiply this together, I'll have my answer 615.44, so that is hundredths. And we're talking about, uh, this is surface area, so it's going to be square inches. Remember, surface area is a squared unit, and, or we deal with squared units, and in volume we deal with uh, cubic units. So let's work on now the volume. So our volume formula, somewhat similar, 4 pi r cubed divided by 3. Now, if you really wanted to, everybody, uh, you could also write this volume formula like this. You'll often see it like this. Um, it's got a fraction in it, which they both have fractions in it, but I find students find this version easier, even though it is the exact same thing. It's equivalent, so you use what you want to use, everybody. All right, so I'm going to start plugging, in, plugging values in. Again, my radius is 7 cubed divided by 3. Just like the last one, we have to make sure we follow bed mass. So you work on your cube first. So 4 times 3.14 times 343 divided by 3. All right, so punch that into your calculator. You'll get 4,308.08. That's the top part, divided by 3. And when I divide that by 3, I end up getting 1,436. And then now I'm going to have to round to the nearest uh, hundredth, we said. So it would be 0, 03 once I look at my calculator and think about it. And it's inches, so it would be cubic inches. So when you're dealing with a sphere, it's pretty straightforward, right, guys? You got these nice formulas, so not so bad. Let's look at one more of these. Uh, the third example, or I guess example two, I'll kind of switch up the question, but we'll do one more like this. Uh, notice that you were given a diameter. The diameter is 22 centimeters. And again, remember radius is your diameter divided by two. Not that you really have to show this work, but just working it out here. 22 divided by two ends up being 11. So I know my radius is 11. So for the surface area, Surface area is equal to 4 times pi times r squared. 
radius squared. So 4 times 3.14 times 11 squared. Again, we got to figure out what 11 squared is. So that's 121. And now I multiply that on my answer. 1,519.76. Okay, units now, it's centimeters, so centimeters squared. Okay, let's do the volume. So volume is equal to 4 times the value of pi times the radius cubed all over 3 or divided by 3, however you want to say that. Uh, 4 times 3.14. My radius is 11. Now you might be thinking if you use the uh, your pi button versus using 3.14, you'll get different answers, and you are correct. But we're going to be rounding and everything, so actually it's, it'll work. It'll work out just fine. If you're ever like a 100th um, off, I'm not going to dock you marks. I'll know what happened, so don't worry about that. I almost forgot because I was talking there to cube my 11. So it's 4 times pi times 11 cubed, all divided by 3. So 4 times 3.14, and then 11 cubed, I have to figure that out, uh, 1,331 divided by 3. So the top part, I will get 16,717.36. A lot of calculator work here, right? Like not a lot of thinking, really. Uh, dividing by 3. And once I divide by 3, I'll get 5,572.45. And that, again, is centimeters cubed. Okay, so these are pretty basic calculations. Um, let's look at a problem next. So in this problem, we're going to determine the radius. So we're going to know everything else except the radius. Determine the radius of a circle that has a surface area of 394 centimeters squared to the nearest tenth. All right, so we're dealing with surface area, so let's begin by writing out our surface area formula. It says surface area is equal to, it doesn't say, sorry, it doesn't say that anywhere, but we know surface area is equal to 4 times pi times r squared. Um, now, we actually already know the surface area. The surface area is told to us, so that's 394. So that's new for us, right, to plug in a value for the surface area. Usually we're solving for the surface area, but that's okay. Um, and we're wondering about the radius. So we're actually going to highlight this R is what we're trying to find. Okay, so really, we're just going to key in on this guy, meaning we want to move that 4 pi away. So this is just like solving any other equation. Whoops. Uh, divide by 4 pi. So instead of having an R, like oh, maybe I'll put this in yellow, you could almost think of it as an X and trying to get that X by itself, which you might be more comfortable with. I mean, it's just a letter, though, so... We're just trying to get a letter by itself. Okay, so 394 divided by 4 pi. So then I'm going to have r squared is equal to 31.35. But I want r, not r squared. So I have to take the square root of both sides. And then r would be equal to 5.6. And we're dealing with centimeters, so 5.6 centimeters. So the odd time, they'll actually tell you your volume or your surface area, and then you'll have to solve for one of the missing measurements, which if we're dealing with a sphere, there's only the radius that we have to worry about. If they said find the diameter, you'd find the radius and times it by 2, right? Because um, diameter is equal to your radius times 2. So we would just plug that in, right, and figure out that. So there you go, everybody. That is a sphere. That is uh, radius, sorry, yes, surface area and volume. I hope it made sense. If it didn't make sense, make sure you talk to your teacher or come talk to me. Uh, otherwise, everyone, have a great night.